Here is Oregon, a place to lift and celebrate the very best of Oregon. Thanks to our exclusive auto partner, Subaru, for being a proud supporter. Get the good stuff every day at hereisoregon.com or follow us on your favorite social media platform at Here is Oregon. Share the good. Hello, hello. Welcome back to Peak Northwest, an outdoors and travel podcast by the Oregonian and Oregon Live, dedicated to the adventure and exploration of our beautiful Pacific Northwest. I'm Jamie Hale. And I'm Vicki Connor. Together, we take you to some of the most beautiful and interesting destinations in our region, discussing where to go, what to do, and places to see. And today, we are back with another episode of our mini-series, My Epic Adventure, where we interview friends and coworkers alike about their trips and outdoor fun in the region, and whatever chaos, excitement, or pure bliss ensued. <laughs> That's right, Vicky, and I love that. Chaos, excitement, or pure bliss, the three flavors of any good adventure. <laughs> so for our second episode of this mini-series, we have none other than the Oregonian and Oregon Lives, Life and culture reporter, our coworker, good friend, Lizzie Acker. Lizzie, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for inviting me to be here. So I understand, Lizzie, that you recently took a trip to the coast. And not only that, you did it by bus mm -hmm. and with your three-year-old daughter. Those are all true How things. How was it? It was <laughs> so fun. Um, I have to say, as as Oregonians all know, like if you go to the coast and it's a sunny day, almost anything could happen and it would be like the best day of your life. <laughs> 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 I mean, we, we had some really good weather, so I'm going to preface it by that. But actually the whole trip was, it was super fun. And, um, I think that because we took the bus, that's part of why it was so fun. I don't know. I don't think either of you have a three-year-old that you uh, take care of with much regularity. No. Nope. But mm -mm. Um, mine has like a lot of opinions, one of which is <laughs> the car seat is a nightmare, a torture device. Um, <laughs> and also our car, we have a Leaf, like a 2013 Leaf, which is very cool for driving around the city. But also if you want to go further than 65 miles or up a mountain, like, you need to make some plans that involve a charging station. Um, <laughs> so I've, I'll, I'm always looking for ways to like leave town without driving. Also, you know, the planet. I don't know if you've heard about it, but it's like the sort of this big deal. <laughs> I'd like it to remain somewhat intact for my three-year-old um, when she's not three. We went the whole way by bus. So we took the city bus down to Union Station and got on the... Uh, point bus, which goes, it actually has a bunch of different places it goes, but um, the one we took goes to the coast. So it goes from Portland to Beaverton to Hillsboro and then to Cannon Beach. We got off in Cannon Beach, but you can go to, I think, Gearheart and Seaside and Astoria on that bus. So it was great. And we did, I did have a bit of a secret weapon, which is my parents came. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> um, my husband was working we went on a sunday and monday and my parents are like they got rid of their car for the environment they're extreme bus riders they're extreme transit oh. pros and so they actually we were on the bus and they met us at a bus stop we, we like planned it out so we got on trimet and then they had took two buses to get to the bus that met us on TriMet. So they walked on the bus and Nona, my daughter, was like, oh, my God. Great, great, great. I mean, she knew they were going to be there. But <laughs> to be honest, I think at first the most fun for her was riding TriMet. Just like it's fun. Hmm. How often is she riding the bus? And had she ever done a, a similar trip like this? As she hadn't. Lengthwise? Um, I mean – because of the pandemic, she was five months old when the pandemic started. So before that, when I was on maternity leave, I took that tiny baby on the bus like everywhere. I loved taking her on the bus because <laughs> I I hated putting her in a car seat. It was terrifying to me. Like cars, I really get scared of cars. And when you have a little baby, you're not super rational, though it is rational to be scared of cars. So maybe I was being rational. <laughs> but um, I just <laughs> felt better carrying her like on my body. So um, I would take the bus all over town. So she's she's ridden the bus, but she doesn't remember it. 
and then the mm. pandemic happened and then um I mean, I guess the pandemic's still happening, <laughs> but, um, we just, man, we just don't take the bus. We ride our bikes a lot and, um, we drive our 2013 leaf. <laughs> um, but yeah, so she hadn't. And last time she hasn't been to the coast very much either. I'm a bad Oregon mom. We just like haven't <laughs> gone. She, we went last year for, um, Thanksgiving and we rented a car and my, um, so that was the last time she'd been and the taking the bus with a kid. I think some people might be like, that's a pain. Like, why would I do that? <laughs> but it's so much easier because you are like actually next to them and you can talk to them and give them snacks and they can like lay on top of you or read book. You know, they, they have a lot more freedom and there's a bathroom on this bus. Oh, so, wow. oh, that helps. Yeah, yeah. I don't even think it took much longer than it would have taken. Well, it was definitely shorter than it would have taken with our car because we would have had to stop and charge it for 45 minutes. But um, <laughs> it in a regular gas car, you know, it took maybe about two hours to get from downtown Portland to Cannon Beach. And um, it was lovely. It's lovely to drive through the mountains when someone else is driving. You're like, look at those trees. They're bigger than last time I was here. You know, I love <laughs> I love that about the, I don't know, the coast range. It's so beautiful and it's nice to be able to appreciate it. It's one of those things I tell people like that. Oh, yeah, you can take the bus to the coast from Portland. People don't know no. that that's a thing you can do. Yeah. And it, it seems like there is a resistance. I think people maybe like just like having their own car or they feel like there's a certain freedom you have. I think one of the big selling points is what you, what you just said is that it doesn't take that much longer. No, it doesn't. And you know what I was thinking as I was like getting on the bus in the morning, as I was pushing Nona in the stroller to the bus stop, I was like, you know, people fly to Europe and, and Asia and they go on like adventures and they're like, I took the overnight bus and the, you know, the sleeper train and the double decker, but like people love to travel far away and take transit. You know, and that's like part of the adventure. And I was like, you can actually have that adventure. Like you just walk out your door right now and you have that same adventure. And the fun of it when you're in an, another country is like figuring it out, like figuring out what time to get there. And you have some constraints. Sure, you don't have like ultimate freedom, but having sometimes having those constraints make, makes things a little more fun because it's adds to the challenge and it means you don't have endless options. Also, you know, with a kid, sure, it's sometimes it's hard to get out of the house, but it's a lot easier when you're like, this is the time we have to get out of the house. There really is a reason we have to get out of the house. I mean, we, we left like a half an hour early and then just walked down the street until, you know, for a couple bus stops because I would rather leave early than late. But there was no screaming. I took Nona to the mall like a couple days after this in the car and on the way back just the most ultimate meltdown and i was like man remember the bus <laughs> when i could just take off her jacket on the freeway you know like i don't know it, it it was just a lot more pleasant and then cannon beach is honestly the perfect destination to do that because it's not big it's super walkable most of the stuff is on one main street. I mean, not really, but it's, it is actually like the downtown of Cannon Beach has plenty to do, plenty of places to eat, plenty of places to stay that are all walkable. And the beach there, it's, it's a joy. <laughs> I know that if it was raining, it would have been maybe a little more challenging, but you can just walk. We, we stayed at uh, the Hallmark. I just picked that one, I think, because mm. it's, it was close to that, the, where the bus dropped off and it's like up on a ridge. So I'm like, eh, if there's a tsunami, we'll be fine, which is always the way I think when I go to the coast, <laughs> where are we going to go? Um, <laughs> but it's almost like right across from Haystack Rock. It's a little bit over, but oh, nice. we could walk down, take the stairs down to the beach and walk along the beach all the way to like the downtown area of Cannon Beach and um, just so pleasant. And you don't need a car for that. You wouldn't even want a car for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you got in into town on the bus. Mm -hmm. uh, walk us through. You know. You know. Wh where's the bus station? How did you get there? How was getting around? What did you do when you were okay, there? Okay. So we got into town. Um, we left um, in the mornings. So we got we got into town before eleven, and the bus stop is right there on Hemlock. It's um, right next to the Sleepy Monk Coffee Shop if, or Cafe, mm -hmm. if you know where that is. Oh yeah. So good. 
I mean, it's a perfect Love spot, the right? Because the sleepy monk has a bunch of, bunch of chairs out front. You could just stay out. And, and actually, the next morning when we caught the bus, we, we hung out at the sleepy monk before the bus got there. So um, mm. we were early. And the one thing I did not think about, or maybe I thought about, but I have a three-year-old and a full-time job, so I didn't like investigate too deeply, was when check-in time is at the hotel. Because we also got the went to that hotel because of the swimming pool. You know, mm. gotta go to find a swimming pool if you're gonna stay at a hotel. Um, <laughs> so check in at ha- the Hallmark wasn't till four, which was a bit of a issue. Uh, but we got on a list and we ended up getting early check in. So we got in after a little bit after one. So we went to the hotel. Um, like I said, Nona, I was pushing Nona in a stroller part of the time. I mean, she can walk, but sometimes it's like if you want to go in one direction at a speed that you care about, then you should strap her into something. Um, so we dropped off like a couple, we just, I had a backpack, Nona had a backpack and my dad had a backpack. So we dropped off my backpack and Nona's and, um, that's true. It's true. I made a three-year-old carry a backpack some of the time. (laughs) She's got to learn sometime. (laughs) It was a small backpack and it mainly had her toys. We walked down Hemlock after that and we went to E. Cola Seafood. Um, mm, so yeah, good. so good. I think that was a Jamie Hale recommendation. Actually, both you and Michael Russell <laughs> recommended that. And it was so good. And November, a Sunday in November, there was very few people. The They have this rooftop where you can sit outside and it was like clear blue sky, just beautiful blue sky kind of warming oh. up like we almost we had jackets on but i took off my top layer like it was so dang pleasant guys i can't really <laughs> explain it it was just like we're just eating fish and chips and no no you know she had a lot of french fries and garlic bread and cracker beige foods she likes beige foods <laughs> <laughs> as my husband would say um yes it was so good so good and then um we walked to, I think the, the, uh, the, the candy store that we went to is Bruce's, the superior candy shop, as also I have been informed, I think correctly, um, an overwhelming candy shop. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> Colors everywhere. Yeah. I grew up in Corvallis and so my coast experience is like Newport, Florence, from when I was a kid. And I, mm-hmm. and I, so I'm like pretty hardcore Florence, Yahats, Newport fan. Um, but Cannon Beach really won me over this time. Mm. I think I've been in the summer when it's very busy and, or I've been with a car and stayed kind of further out of town, but it was just like that candy shop was great. They had all the, gross flavors of taffy you're never gonna try and um (laughs) they had some like we got some chocolate and nona had the time of her life because then we pushed (laughs) there was enough hard sand that we pushed the stroller back part of the way and she walked in part of the way but um we were trying to convince her to fall asleep which did not happen um but she was just like eating this massive chocolate getting pushed down the beach in the sun (laughs) you know i really like my parents so that's fun i get to hang out with my parents (laughs) um (laughs) So I think, yeah, that we walked back to the hotel. Oh, we walked back on the beach for a while. The room still wasn't ready. We walked back to the bookstore, um, went to the bathroom, and then the room was ready. So we walked back up the beach. We went up and down the beach a lot. But, you know, it's like a great beach. So, um, And then we – my room – my no one in my room was ready. My parents' room wasn't ready yet. And the rooms there – we got a pretty good one. My parents got a really good one. I don't know why they got such a better room than me, but um, they had a full ocean view and like a jacuzzi tub and like, Uh, you know, they had like a patio, you know, porch thing. Um, Our room had a partial ocean view. So like a teeny little, (laughs) little uh, window (laughs) we could look out, but we also had an electric fireplace, which was pretty sweet. Oh, yeah. It was a very cozy room. Really nice. And then we went to the pool, played in the pool in the hot tub for a little bit. Um, then we got my back, my parents' room was ready. Oh, they give you cookies at check-in. So my mom brought back a cookie from check-in because you got to keep giving the three-year-old treats constantly. Mm. <laughs> she was in a great, she was like <laughs> super happy. I think that, you know, it was a fun adventure, 
it wasn't a stressful adventure. So she was just like having a great time. And also three adults to one kid is a great ratio. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know why families don't like Mm -hmm. all of them have like four parents to one child. Personally, (laughs) that's what I would pick. Um, I mean, I couldn't deal with that many adults in my life, but yeah. Um, So then we went to dinner. All we did was eat eat and walk on the beach. So we walked down the beach to, um, the, to driftwood, which was very mm. fun. It was kind of, um, dark and woody. Um, they have a really nice patio, but kids aren't allowed on the patio tragically. Um, so <laughs> no, I understand as a person with a child, I understand. Um, oh yeah. I, got, I ordered prime rib for dinner. Nona got a nice. grilled cheese sandwich. Um, we got my parents had some cocktails. I had a glass of wine. It was really nice. Mm-hmm. And like I said, like, you know, sometimes the coast is so packed with people and it wasn't. And it that I just it's just nice. And I think especially the coast up here by Portland, people just go there a lot. And I mean, I literally have been to Cannon Beach in the summer where you can't find a parking spot. Though, yeah. if you took the bus, that wouldn't be a problem. So, I guess next summer we'll go on the bus. <laughs> and then we – oh, actually, probably maybe my highlight of the trip was um, we walked back from Driftwood on the beach. Um, and it was dark. You know, it was only like 6 o'clock or whatever, but it was like pitch black. <laughs> um, and you could <laughs> see the outline of Haystack Rock. And there was almost nobody on the beach. There was a couple people with bonfires. Um Mm -hmm. And it was just like, it was really nice. And that's one thing I think I wouldn't be able to do with just Nona by myself. I don't want to be like in the dark on the beach with a child by myself, but (laughs) with three adults, it felt totally safe. And we actually didn't bring the stroller down to dinner. So we just took turns giving her piggyback rides and she walked, she had a great time. Um, Yeah. Then we turned on the fireplace and I let Nona watch some hotel TV, which you might hear later was the highlight of her trip. (laughs) 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 I tried to get her to watch the office and she's like, mom, just turn it to something for kids. And I was like, the office is for everyone. (laughs) Apparently not. (laughs) Overall, I'm sensing this trip both from you and Nona gets the rating of Epic. Yeah. It was so good. I mean, I just, I can't really find a fault with it. There was going to be that moment. I was like, oh, I'm never going to get checked into the hotel. It's going to be kind of a pain. We're going to have to, but then we did. So it wasn't a problem. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. So question about the bus. How many, uh, how many bus times are like en route to the beach or to the coast? Two a day. So there's a morning and an evening. So then, yeah, we decided and the same on the way back and actually on the way there, the bus was like relatively empty. There were, it's like a coach, you know, like a nice bus. I was about to ask. Yeah. Yeah, Like, you know, those, uh, cloth seats and like uh, lights and kind of bathroom, bathroom, a very small bathroom, but it works for a three-year-old. Nona used it multiple times. Um, (laughs) And, uh, I mean, I did too, I guess it works for an adult as well. <laughs> on the way back, we decided to leave in the morning just because we were going to have to check out of the hotel and I didn't know it was going to be a bright, sunny day. So, you know, you gotta <laughs> be careful cause it could be very rainy at the coast, but there's plenty of places to just hang out. Um, and oh, we hung out at another coffee shop. I forgot about that. We like some Eagle bald Eagle or something like that coffee shop. And it's, it's a coffee shop and, uh, um, it's in my story, which is coming out soon. <laughs> um, and a frame shop, I think, or an art gallery or something. Um, and then in the morning we went to sleepy, sleepy monk. And I also went to the Cannon beach bakery. We ate lots of food, but you've got to, if you're yeah, walking. That's what you do in Cannon yeah. beach. Yeah. <laughs> I've also, I feel like every episode that we've had, like, adventures with kids i feel like every single person is like snacks are key you can't do this without (laughs) snacks you got to bring all the snacks and that's the key to happiness and a smooth trip it's true you know like there's this thing that parents are like nowadays you're supposed to be like you know you don't want to give judgment to food and you're like um you know these aren't treats this is we'll say this is fast energy and this is slow energy and um 
it's really funny because Nona sometimes will be like, I love fast energy, more fast energy. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> you can't get around the fact that treats are treats and kids want treats. And you know what? I want treats too. So um, yeah, lots of snacks is very, maybe the only parenting advice you need. Snacks. Yeah. You didn't go to the candy store. You went to the fast energy right, store. Exactly. That's, Look that's at all right. this fast energy. <laughs> that's it's right. so colorful. <laughs> um, yeah. So I don't remember exactly what the question was, but there's two buses and, oh, on the way back, the bus was actually pretty full because, you know, it's coming from other parts of the coast going to Portland and it was a Monday morning. So um, I think that bus is, you know, pretty well used and i would like absolutely definitely do it again what was the fare for the bus uh, for nona and i both it was 51 dollars round trip and i know for my parents it was like 61 so it's probably about 30 dollars round trip about but cheaper for kids and, and as you pointed out lizzie i think one of the biggest um complaints people have about going to Cannon beach is finding parking yeah Especially on a summer day, where am I going to park? Mm -hmm. And people end up just having to leave sometimes. I've, I've had to, I think I parked illegally once, like just to get lunch. We literally couldn't um, find a spot <laughs> once. We just, yeah, yeah. So we just had to keep driving. Mm -hmm. But the bus don't have to worry about that. Oh. So, you know, maybe a little bit longer. Um, but it seems like there's all these different things that offset any inconvenience with the bus um, that make it, I think, a really, really good, not just like a decent uh, alternative, but like a really good primary travel option to get to the coast. I agree. Like, I, I would say I don't. I don't know that I would not take, like, I don't know that I would drive again to Cannon Beach, especially because, <laughs> because it drops you right there in the middle, you know, right in the middle of town or, you know, on kind of one side on Hemlock by the Sleepy Monk, which is great, by the bunch of stuff over there. You walk down Hemlock, you're by a bunch more stuff. Um, you know, you don't need to bring a million things. And I, it was just such a cozy, fun it wasn't a cheap trip. You know, we didn't, it wasn't like we were, you could definitely do it cheaper. It was, it was not a cheap trip, but mm -hmm. it was like so fun. It felt like, it felt like a special time, you know? And maybe that's the thing about taking the bus or like doing other modes of transit. It's that what people love about it when they go to Europe or whatever, it's like, it's a special thing. It's not just like, Oh, we can just do it. You just get in the car. And I felt that of other times that I've taken transit, like, you know, you can take, I've, last summer I took um, Max and rode my bike then um, to Forest Grove. And it's like, it's, it's just, it's kind of special. Even if it's close, you can give like a trip to someplace that's close, like as much attention as you would a trip, you know, that requires getting on an airplane. I love that. Uh, you know, and we, we originally wanted to hear from Nona also about all of this, obviously, because as you said, she has opinions, Definitely. um, understand that she is in school right now as yeah. a recording. So we did ask you to, um, do a quick little interview with her. Mm -hmm. Um, and I understand we have some audio to, to play for folks. Can you tell me your name? Nona. And how old are you, Nona? Three. Three. When was your birthday? October. That's really cool. Okay, now I'm going to ask you some questions about the trip we just went on. What was your favorite part? Um, the chocolate and TV. The chocolate and the TV. Yeah, what, what, did, what did you like about the chocolate? It was tasty. Where did we get the chocolate? Do you remember? I got it at the candy store, I think. Yeah, what was the candy store like? Good. Had you ever been into a candy store before? No. No? Do you like a candy store? I do. Yeah. What did you, did you like riding the bus? I did. Yeah. Which bus did you like best? City bus or the bus to Canada? The city bus. The city bus? What did you like about the city bus? Short. And <laughs> that it's short. Did you see any interesting people on the city bus? Yep. What kind of interesting people? Cool, interesting people. Cool, interesting people? Yes. That's awesome. Besides chocolate, what did you eat at the Oregon Coast? Uh, ketchup, french fries, garlic bread. Oh, were those good? Yep. Yeah. And did you see any big rocks? I did. What big rock? Do you remember what it's called? Haystack Rock. Yeah. Do 
you like ice rock? I do. Yeah. Did you play in the sand? Yes. Do you like playing in the sand? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. A few more questions. Um, did where did we stay? Okay. Wasn't ready right away. What? Wasn't ready right away. Our hotel room wasn't ready right yeah. away. Can you tell me about walking on the beach at night? I love that. Yeah. What did you love about it? How much was there? Was so many stars. So many stars. Yeah. Did you see any fires? Yeah. Was that cool? Did you, um, you walked most of the way, didn't you? Yeah. What was the sand like? Squeaky. Squeaky. Um, is there anything else you want to tell me about your trip to Cannon Beach? Three more things, okay? Okay, tell me three more things. Um, stairs. Where were the stairs? I'm just telling you sentences. Oh, just sentences? Okay. Stairs. Uh huh. Sand. Bed. Bed. Are those three important things on our trip? Yeah. It was a pretty cozy bed, wasn't it? Yes. Did you like that fireplace in the hotel? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was very nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, are you being a frog now? Yep. Oh, okay, little frog. Well, thanks for joining me for this interview. I love you. Bye. Can you say bye? Bye. Oh my God. That <laughs> Nona is the cutest, the absolute cutest. Uh, Lizzie, thanks for, for sharing that yeah, with us. It's so good. Her own person. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like uh, she is definitely interested in a future in stargazing though at night on the beach. Yeah, that was, that was really sweet. She had a really good time and she did <laughs> love the chocolate and the TV in the hotel room. Like any mm -hmm. child would. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Well, Lizzie, thanks so much for sharing this whole story with yeah. us, this epic adventure, the bus and the coast and with Nona. Um, and I, it, it, yeah, it sounds like something that like, you know, uh, is really achievable for a lot of people to do. And maybe it's, you know, less intimidating than people think, mm -hmm. um, but still definitely, I think, worthy of an epic adventure. I think, yeah, I, I like want to encourage everyone to try it because it's way more fun than I thought it was even going to be. And it was incredibly easy you know trimet takes you really close to union station and um from anywhere in portland and or if you wanted to you could even drive there and park your car there <laughs> but i mean my husband offered to drive us and i was like absolutely not i'm doing the whole thing but um <laughs> i can understand if you want to get a ride there too Lizzie, thank you so much again for joining us on the podcast. And I can't wait for my next trip to the beach. And maybe I'll be taking the bus. We should all just take the bus, you know? That's be like right. a cool party bus. Yeah. <laughs> Oregonian epic adventure together. There we go. I'm going to eat a <laughs> lot of beige food. <laughs> I know. I do feed my child vegetables, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's going to do it for us today. But uh, folks, until next time, you can watch our videos on the Oregonians YouTube channel and view all of our travel and outdoors coverage on OregonLive.com slash travel, as well as HereIsOregon.com. Please leave us a rating, a review if you enjoy the show. And if you want to support this podcast and our local journalism, please consider a subscription to Oregon Live. You can find details at OregonLive.com slash pod support. Also, if you're a fan of the show and you're interested in potentially sponsoring it, you can get in touch with our marketing people at advertise at Oregonian.com. This episode of the show was produced by me, Vicki Connor, alongside Jamie Hale, Andrew Thien, and Elena Neal Sachs. Stay safe and happy travels, everyone. Until next time, we leave you with this 10 seconds of Zen.